Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Alexander Nix, and today I will be explaining every single object class that is used by the SCP Foundation. All anomalous objects, entities, and phenomena requiring special containment procedures are assigned an object class. Object classes are a rough indicator as to how said SCP should be contained. An SCP's object class is determined by a number of factors, but the most important factors are the difficulty and purpose of its containment. There are three primary classes. These make up the most common classes used in SCP Foundation resources and make up the bulk of all SCPs. The first of which is safe. Safe class SCPs are anomalies that are easily and safely contained. This is often due to the fact that the Foundation has researched the SCP well enough that containment does not require significant resources or that the anomalies require specific and conscious activation or trigger. Classifying an SCP as safe, however, does not mean that handling the SCP will not make it pose a threat. Euclid Euclid class SCPs are anomalies that require more resources to contain completely or where containment isn't always reliable. Usually, this is because the SCP is insufficiently understood or inherently unpredictable. Euclid is the object class with the greatest scope and is usually a safe bet that an SCP will be into that class if it doesn't fall into either safe or keter. As a note, any SCP that is autonomous or sapient is generally classified as Euclid due to the inherent unpredictability of an object that can think of its own accord. Keter Keter class SCPs are anomalies that are exceedingly difficult to contain consistently or reliably, with containment procedures often being extensive and complex. The Foundation often cannot contain these SCPs well due to not having a solid understanding of the anomaly or lacking the technology to properly contain or counter it. A Keter class SCP does not necessarily mean that the SCP is dangerous, just that it is very difficult and or costly to contain. In addition to the three primary classes, there are four secondary classes. The following object classes are less frequently used and designate anomalies with unusual containment requirements. The first of which is Thamuel. Thamuel class SCPs are anomalies that the Foundation specifically uses to contain other SCPs. Even the mere existence of a Thamuel class object is classified at the highest level of the Foundation and their locations, functions, and current statuses are known to only few Foundation personnel outside of the O5 Council. Apollyon Apollyon class SCPs are anomalies that cannot be contained and are expected to breach containment intermittently or have some other similar scenario occur. Such anomalies are usually associated with world-ending threats or K-class scenarios of some kind. These require massive efforts from the Foundation to deal with. Archon Archon class SCPs are anomalies that could theoretically be contained, but are best left uncontained for some reason. Archon class SCPs may be a part of a conscious reality that is difficult to fully contain or may have adverse effects if put into containment. These SCPs are not uncontainable. The defining feature of the class is that the Foundation willingly chooses not to contain these anomalies. Ticonderoga Ticonderoga class SCPs cannot be contained, but also do not need to be contained. While these anomalies are similar to Archon class SCPs in that their containment is unnecessary, Ticonderoga class SCPs are distinguished by also not being containable given the Foundation's current knowledge and resources. This may be due to their widespread or ubiquitous occurrence on Earth, despite the general public remaining unaware of their existence or anomalous nature. Though, the Ticonderoga class also includes extraterrestrial anomalies beyond the current reach of the Foundation. 
There are also a slew of non-standard SCP object classes. Most of the following object classes indicate that an SCP has not yet been assigned a standard object class, or that it was previously assigned a standard object class but no longer requires containment. Explained. Explained SCPs are SCPs that were thought to be anomalies, but after further research were found to be completely normal and fully understood to the point where their effects are now seen as non-anomalous by mainstream science. Neutralized. Neutralized SCPs are former anomalies that are no longer anomalous, either through having been intentionally or accidentally destroyed or disabled. Decommissioned. Decommissioned SCPs are anomalies that have been intentionally destroyed or stripped of their anomalous properties by the SCP Foundation. As the Foundation usually tries to contain, rather than neutralize, anomalous objects, this object class is only used when it is not possible to fully contain an anomaly, or when excessive expenditure of resources is required to keep an anomaly in containment. Decommissioning may also be performed for ethical reasons, particularly when containment necessitates extreme suffering or is unable to prevent the excessive loss of life. To avoid any unnecessary losses, decommissioning anomalies requires authorization from a higher authority such as the O5 Council, the Ethics Committee, or the Decommissioning Department. Pending Pending class SCPs are SCPs that have not been yet assigned an object class and are labeled as pending. This is used to indicate that the Foundation does not currently have enough information to assign an object class to the anomaly. This is a deliberate decision to emphasize that research is ongoing and is not the same as not knowing what class it falls into. Uncontained SCPs that are not yet contained may be assigned an object class, often Keter, but in some instances SCPs are designated as uncontained. Uncontained is used in place of an object class to emphasize that there is an ongoing effort to contain the SCP. Esoteric Additional object classes that are not listed are generally created to house exactly one SCP that does not fit cleanly into any other type of object class. Esoteric object classes are often only assigned to one SCP and are created specifically for that SCP. A good way to remember all the classes is by using the locked box analogy. For example, if you lock an SCP in a box and leave it alone and nothing bad will happen, it is safe. If you lock it in a box, leave it alone, and you're not too sure what will happen, then it is probably Euclid. If you lock it in a box, leave it alone, and it easily escapes, then it is Keter. If it is the box, then it is Thamuel. If it used to need a box but no longer does, then it is neutralized. If this is because of a deliberate decision made by the Foundation, it is decommissioned. If it never needed a box in the first place, it is explained. If it cannot fit into a box and is about to end the world, it is a polyon. If you could have locked it in a box but chose not to, it is Archon. If you cannot fit it into a box but that doesn't really matter, it is Ticonderoga. If you have a row of boxes in front of you and you're not sure what to put it in, it is pending. I have been Dr. Alexander Nix, signing off. I hope you have enjoyed the education I have brought to you today. Farewell.